Hey guys, this is Mama Made. It's been quite a while since I've done an Aldi haul. So I wanted to share with you what I got today. Um, so I did go shopping for a whole month. It'll actually be five weeks when you count all the days. Um, but anyway, so I stocked up. Um, I am a couponer, so obviously this isn't everything we're gonna eat in five weeks. Um, and I did make a stop at Walmart and grabbed a few things there as well. But I wanted to share everything I got at Aldi. Um, so first thing are these bagels. I absolutely love these. Um, I just, I'll uh, tear them in half and then I'll freeze them in halves like that and I'll just stick them back in the bag. That way I can eat a half a bagel instead of a whole one. They're $1.99. These are amazing if you love pumpkin flavored bagels. Definitely would recommend them $1.99. Powder sugar I think was $1.20. Grabbed two of those. I got a lot of baking coming up soon. Eggs were only 50 cents, so I went ahead and grabbed four of those. Um, and eggs have a really good expiration date, December 5th, so I'll be good on those for a while. My issue with buying this much food is um, fitting it all in my refrigerator, so I'm hoping I can um, jam everything in here. Snack cakes for my husband, I think they're $1.25 or $1.33 a piece. Um, 19 cents for tomato sauce. I'm making chili and meatloaf, so I grabbed four cans of that. Evaporated milk is like a dollar or nine, I think. Um, baking cocoa, this is really great. It's only like a dollar, I forget, a dollar sixty-five or something like that. Chili beans, I believe, are only 49 cents. I grabbed two of those for the chili. The sloppy joe mix also goes in my chili. I don't know if I have a recipe video or, or not. I know everyone pretty much has their own chili recipe, so I don't even know if I've ever put one out. Um, baked beans, uh, $1.35, I believe. The um, American cheese, $1.45. Stocked up on the block cheese there, um, $1.45, I believe. Also, the graham crackers were $0.89. Cents. The um, half and half, I think, was $1.49 for that. The two Hawaiian rolls were both $0.95. Cents. Um, I make sliders. We like having those. Well, my husband does. I don't really eat a whole lot of bread much anymore except for these bagels. Um, but those go great with soups and um, I make sliders. So definitely grab two of those. Um, the canola oil. This was only $1.19. The other oils were like $1.89. So I don't know why this is so cheap, but I grabbed one of those. Salt was like 39 cents. These cherries, I don't remember how much they were, um, but I make my uh, brother-in-law chocolate-covered cherries. They have like a coconut layer. If I think about it, I'll do a video when I make them, but can't promise. Christmas time gets super busy for me with all the things that I make, so we'll see. Um, I have a video on this. I will try to link it below. All these candles are amazing, these big jar candles. So those were $3.99 every season. If I find them, I grab one as a special treat. Um, I never really buy things for myself, so I don't feel bad at all about buying myself a candle once, twice, sometimes three times a year. Slow cooker liners. These, I have never used the um, Aldi brand, but these were $1.49, I believe. Um, a friend of mine, if you're watching, <laughs> she recommends these. Um, I've never tried them, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, less mess, so hopefully they work good. This is actually going to be a gift for my mother-in-law. Um, a silicone baking mat. I have baking mats that I absolutely love, so um, I'm pretty sure she'll probably like that. This was $3.99, found in the seasonal aisle. Um, Italian mixes, I think they are like $0.40 cents maybe. Se taco seasoning, I think is $0.39. Cents. Um, I make mashed potatoes and put these in like five pounds of potatoes goes with one package. They are so good. I make them for my church and everyone always like scrapes the bowl clean. The baby carrots were 75 cents. Cottage cheese, as you can see, we eat a lot of this stuff. It's uh, $1.69, I believe, or $1.59, so I stocked up on that. My kids don't eat meat much, so cottage cheese is our protein. Sour cream, I think is a dollar or 89 cents, something like that. Grab three of those. The whipped topping is 79 cents, I believe. Um, I'm making a peanut butter cup trifle, so I may do a recipe video on that. Um, sometimes I start recipe videos, or I don't think about doing them until I've already started the recipe. So sometimes that happens. Um, cheese, 
I think they're all like two, 285 or something like that. Uh, but these are bigger bags, four cups, four cups. And I think the Mexican blend only has three cups in it, but it tastes different than the cheddar. So we like that for Mexican dishes. Um, <clears throat> broccoli, Aldi has the best broccoli. I love their broccoli flor florets. They're 95 cents, I believe. I feel like they just taste better than Walmart's. We grabbed four bags, um, making broccoli and cheese soup. I have a recipe video on that as well. You guys have to try it sometime. It is so, so good. Um, a friend of mine gave me the recipe, and I make that almost once a month. It is a staple in our house. Um, the buns, I believe, are 85 cents, and then the ranch veggie straws are $1.93. I think they lowered their price, like, by three cents. And then I found this popcorn. I think it was a dollar twenty-five or something like that. Um, I did find that in the seasonal aisle. My children love that stuff. When I showed it to my toddler, she was jumping up and down saying, "Can I have some? Can I have some with lunch?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." So I believe I showed you everything. That is all that I have for Aldi this trip. Um, like I said, this is a whole month long's worth of food for us. Um, I did grab some other things for some other people. Um, but I believe my total after what I bought for them would be $127, I think, for all this stuff. I think that's right. Somewhere around that ballpark. So that's a pretty good deal for all this food to last us a whole month. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.